All right, guys, uh, nothing too crazy here. Thought maybe make this kind of like a small PSA for you guys. Uh, if you're ever dealing with, so this is a Honda push start button, obviously. So it's keyless, and this customer's complaining about the green LED right there constantly flashing when they'd go to power down the car. But the vehicle would never power down. I think the screens would stay on and that would stay flashing. And so his symptom and concern was the battery always dying. After a bunch of kind of uh, research and digging through service information, um, it led me to inspect the shifter assembly because there was no trouble codes at all. Uh, and actually, this was at the dealer. Um, so he brought it to me. He wanted me to find out what was going on. Uh, absolutely zero trouble codes. Nothing to indicate anything wrong with the car. Uh, he actually even had the dealer do some key immobilizer work, thinking, you know, for some reason there was a key issue. So what it turns out is that basically the vehicle would stay flashing because it never saw it go into park. Um, so I obviously removed all the panels, the center um, assembly, the console, and lo and behold, I get this, a bunch of wiring job and like rust and, and whatnot. So I don't know if this was flood car, water damage or what, but uh, seeing the wiring problem, had me a little concerned. Uh, you can tell with some wire work. But um, once you could power up the car, run, start the car, and all the display, the, the park, reverse neutral drive, everything would be fine. Even when you went into park with the shifter, it would register there. But again, when you power it off, this area of the car didn't know it was actually in um, park. So that is just bust over signal from the actual Prendel switch on the transmission assembly. This is gonna be from the uh, shift lever floor assembly here. And so um, being everything else kind of worked and I sort of checked the wire colors. This was not the issue and was okay. But what I did find out is if we come here and take a look, uh, this one with the knob removed is the one that came out. This is a replacement unit. So what I ended up finding when I was in the car, I was kind of looking around and I noticed this solenoid, which is the shift interlock, where the wire was messed up. And I can move the shift lever without ever pulling on that. So it wasn't locking. And you didn't have to step on the brake. Car could be on or off. It didn't matter. You can just move the lever. It wasn't locked. And so I started digging around. And once I flickered that micro switch, the key, the push button light stopped blinking. And so that was my indication that the problem is here with this shifter assembly. So basically this pin right here goes up and down when you uh, push the lever. And it's like stuck and jammed and it's not controlling that properly. And so that is what's going on. That's what's keeping the car from powering down completely because it never sees it go into park so let's see you see that um, the pin never gets actuated uh, the micro switch doesn't work properly even though physically the levers up all the way and this one does have an interlock which is if you push down here you can see that and that's your emergency uh, if you're 
want to tell the car get out of the park. You press down and then it will let you then move the lever. So anyways, everything is due to a bad shifter assembly on this Honda, keeping the vehicle on, awake, draining the battery with absolutely zero trouble codes and that is going to be the fix. So um, I couldn't find much information about this so it's part of the reason why I'm making this 2017 I believe there we go yep model year but if you run into maybe all Honda lines with that key blinking um, and no trouble codes look towards the shifter assembly that might be your savior